Amy Todd-Dorn. Good afternoon. It's been a long, long, hard journey in the past 10 years. In the beginning, we were we were trying to protect our inlet and our air and our lands from Kinder Morgan. They're going back to Texas. <laughs> they pulled out. Now, I don't care whose hands the pipelines are in, the answer is still the same. The answer is still no. Trudeau says that he doesn't mind sending the Canadian Army against us. He says the pipelines are going to go through no matter what. He says that we're going to pay, pay $4.5 billion for the pipeline to go through, which makes us all, it's coming out of our taxes. Some people say Native don't pay taxes. I pay taxes every day. I've been paying taxes all my life, and I'm old. <laughs> and he says he's going to take the money. It will take to 2050 to pay off that bill. And I, I don't want to be a shareholder in dirty tar sands, toxic oil. So we're saying no to that, too. He said he'll use the pension, all these ones sitting here in the elder tent. They're going to, he said, I'll use the, the pension. No. And the answer, the answer to him is still no. Trudeau. God. I don't see how we ended up with him. And sometimes I feel really bad for America with their uh, um, President Trump. He's, um, he's, he's got investments in the pipeline. That's why he's pushing it. He's pushing it. Oh, we have been in this area. This was a village of my people. We populated both sides of this inlet. And in the beginning, um, we have been my own ancestors. We're not doing anything different. Myself and my son, Reuben, Chief Reuben George, he headed the fight for many years. Um, we're not doing something new. We're, we're just carrying on the battle for this um, little piece of land that they call our reserve. And this inlet, we're, we are called Kislelwat, that's people of the inlet. During our 30 years that we lived here, we didn't have any endangered species. Every, every little creek coming down from the mountains, we could drink out of it. We didn't have any plants that are gone extinct. We didn't overpopulate to tax the food. We were stewards. We took care of this land. This is how our tribes are. There are some Tisleiwak two people here. And I thank you for being here. <laughs> I thank you all for being here. And standing behind us in this um, protection of our land. It makes me very worried because when, not if there's a spill, when there's a spill, the gas floats through the air and it lands on your hair and your clothes. Then you walk in your house and it follows you. So the gas is on your beds, on your tables, on your chairs. And there have been blocks, blocks of people who had to shut down their home and move. They had to tear it down because it was so toxic in their house. I don't want that to happen around here. I really don't. And that uh, bitumen is so heavy, it just sinks to the bottom. And they said they're practicing how to clean up in, in the case of a spill. How, what are they gonna do? Send down deep sea divers and clean up the bottom of the inlet? I don't think so. And we'll be breathing it. We'll be breathing it. Like um, my grandson said, there's going to be a million sick right off. And, and it means death to everything living in the water. We could say goodbye to our last few orcas that are left. 
my legs are shaky, my arms are sore from the paddle. And we put lots of medicine along the, the area there with those spiked fences. I, I can't believe the nerve of that Kinder Morgan when they came onto our inlet. We've been here for 30,000 years. Not a word to us, and there's tankers in here. And, and they just moved in and said, oh, we're going to dig into this water 50 feet so we can bring in tankers bigger than the tallest Vancouver building. And I just, I just don't get, I just don't get the nerve of, of those two. And I'm so glad they're gone back to Texas. Um, for those of, there is f four. My son, our grand chief, um, my nephew, and Ben West, who I miss dearly. Um, the four, all four, and I had a heart procedure in, in this last 10 years. And it's real taxing on us. And when I see groups like this and I see the kayaks all beside us and, and people willing to go in the canoes, um, you're, you're like pushing us forward. Like it's, it's such a great support. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sitting here and being with us. I want to sing um, one song in in honor of um, them for workers, uh, for their health, for their well-being, for the Tisleywood two people who showed up, for my nephew Will, and grandson Cedar, and my granddaughter here, my two granddaughters Ocean and, and Kaya, and I'm going to sing the honor song for them.